Welcome to Bible study at Our Lady of the Wayside. This is the last Sunday of Ordinary Time before Lent. Lent will start next Wednesday. And interestingly, the readings are very helpful to sending up, to send us into Lent, which is a season of spring training. It's a season of great graces. It's a season of growing closer to Christ. And it's a season of, of, of allowing the Lord to heal our hearts and cleanse our souls and uh, awaken all the virtue, all the blessings of the sacrament of reconciliation and of the Eucharist. And the set of readings we've got today is genuinely unusual because it focuses that both the first reading and the and the gospel focus on leprosy, which to us is a very uh, very foreign concept. Uh, Hansen's disease, we call it now, is virtually eradicated in the world, but the the experience of leprosy and thinking about leprosy in the literal sense can help us to ask for the graces of the Lord in the spiritual sense. Well, leprosy, and it we'll see in our first reading, and the first reading has a big gap. It, uh, it's Leviticus 13, 1 to 2, and then a long gap uh, to get to 44 to 46. And what happens in the gap is the instructions to the priests of Israel how to examine people with skin problems or baldness or um, or moles or chickenpox or any of the skin diseases that these people were responsible for protecting the community against contagion. So what if we think about what leprosy is literally, the Hansen's disease, one of the things we usually have we've seen or we we think of is that uh, people will lose fingers or lose toes or lose their feet or um, be be twisted in some way as well as having pustules on their faces and on their bodies. And one of the reasons that the people lose parts of their body is that when they've injured themselves, they don't feel it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you might cut your, your, if you're leprous, you might step on a, step on a rusty nail and cut your foot. And you don't even know that there is anything wrong because leprosy has taken away the you no feeling. feeling. You have no feeling. And so you go to sleep and the rats come and they start nibbling at you oh. and you don't even know it. Or you, the leper might be walking and might twist his ankle and not even know that there's any pain. And so that lack of feeling is what leads to greater injury or to, or to the loss of extremities. And so in a literal sense, it's, it's pretty dreadful, but thinking of it in a spiritual sense, sometimes we get hardened to what's going on and we wound oh, yeah. ourselves by our own sin and we don't even know it. And we just keep going and get deeper and deeper into the suffering that comes from sin. So the idea of leprosy is a good idea to think it, to send us into Lent because we need to examine not just our what we see as our spiritual sense, but also examine our emotions and our feelings to see if they're in line with the emotions and the feelings that the Lord offers. And Lent is a time for fasting. And one of the reasons for fasting is to toughen us up, learn how to say no to yourself so that you will be able to say yes in positive directions. And almsgiving to teach us to, to value our stuff lightly and and of course prayer which is a union with with god and one of the things to do this sunday is to ask lord what do you, is there something you'd like to heal in me is there something you'd like to change in me is there some big opening for your grace that that i can concentrate on in lent and then also ask to ask the lord is there some health in me that needs to be developed that needs to be strengthened that needs to be 
Is there a light that, that has been hiding under a bushel? So what the leper has done in the gospel is come to Jesus and the leper is not allowed to touch anybody, but Jesus touches the leper. You'd think that Jesus would catch leprosy, but no, Jesus is the one. If you touch Jesus, you catch his health. And that's what happened to the leper. The leper caught Jesus's health. And that's what we do when we unite ourselves to Jesus in prayer and the sacraments. The funny, the funny thing about the gospel is that the leper is forbidden to go into society because he's contagious. So Jesus touches the leper, the leper gets healed, but then because of all the publicity, Jesus has to go to a deserted place. So it's, Paul talks about how Jesus takes on our sins and is our sins are crucified on the cross. But this little episode of Jesus healing the leper is a, a little foretaste of how Jesus himself takes on the consequences of human sin. And he is willing to allow his health to be contagious. So moving on into Lent, let's ask the Lord to uh, touch us with his contagious health so that we can operate on all cylinders and serve him well and make a difference in the world and not uh, not hold ourselves down by uh, irrational emotions. So uh, if you'd like some information about Bible study at Our Lady of the Wayside, email biblestudy at olwparish.org. And I'd love to see you either in person or on Zoom. Blessings and peace.